My name is Cece Anderson. I'm a makeup artist and beauty historian. Did you know Frida Kahlo's makeup and personal items were locked up for over half a century after her death? In 2004, her property was discovered in La Casa Azul and finally went on display at the Victoria and Albert Museum in 2018. Sadly, her Revlon lipstick shade, Everything's Rosy, is discontinued. But after examining several photographs and seeing collector Erin Parsons sample her vintage tube on her channel, I've landed on Charlotte Tilbury's Lost Cherry as an acceptable modern dupe. But most interesting to me is this blush compact. Though no brand name is visible, according to compact collector Regina Matten, based on similar items in her collection, this compact it was likely to have come from Saks Fifth Avenue. And yet another makeup mystery remains. According to journalists, there was still yet another makeup compact gifted to Frida by beauty magnate Helena Rubenstein herself, who was also a great collector of Frida's works, that was missing from the Victoria and Albert display. By this time, Rubenstein, Cody, and Max Factor had all expanded to the Latin American market and products were manufactured in Mexico City. Despite not fitting the beauty standards of her time, she owned and exuded an alluring and androgynous mystique. She embraced her monobrow and accentuated it with pencil, all the while adding feminine touches such as flowers in her hair and brightly colored rouge and lipstick. Her work was deeply personal and visceral. She paid close attention to capturing her face in a series of now famous self-portraits. This helped evolve the notion of what is beautiful. Frida was also careful with her public image and a master marketeer. She used her Tijuana look strategically, both to express her heritage as well as cover up her physical injuries. Frida's signature brows were such a defining feature that makeup artist Judy Chin had brows made by hand on lace for the film starring Selma Hayek. Despite her controversial politics and criticism of the American bourgeoisie, today her image is still used to sell just about anything, including this makeup collection that was sold at Ulta. She fought for workers' rights, labor unions, and an anti-imperialist ideology. In 2024, a Broadway musical about her life is due to hit the stage. You could say that Frida was an OG influencer, and I like to believe that she would totally embrace today's selfie culture, filters, and be drawn to online storytelling, just like me. For this reason, she has been a longtime hero of mine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned to my YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok for more beauty history.